Sean Roden has passed away at 46 years old. This is unbelievably sad news. He leaves behind a little girl who is under the age of 10. And I know that he was a great dad. Everything was about her, even up until some of his last moments in life where he posted always about her and that how precious she was. So my condolences go directly to his family and friends, and my heart goes out to her. Anabox steroids are being used. Everyone knows it. Everyone's talking about it forever. And this year, there's been so many deaths. <clears throat> A lot of the deaths are acute deaths that are always concerning. The chronic deaths people seem not to talk about when people are older in their 50s or 60s, which is not old. I'm 57 years old, guys. So this is where I shine because it appears that he had a heart attack, a cardiac event, and was uh, just abruptly passed away. We don't know the full details, but I waited long enough here for about a day to truly see that there's enough media outlets indicating that he did indeed have some cardiac event acutely. So I want to provide all of you guys with an action plan, self-protection action plan. Coronary artery disease is really a preventive issue and it's my forte as an internal medicine doctor for almost 20 years as a primary care doctor. I dealt with these A, B, C, D. I put it together for you guys and I want you guys to directly take care of yourselves. Obviously, men are gonna use steroids, women too. Um, the IFBB and the powers to be are going to have to deal with what they're going to do about all these PEDs and deaths. I leave that for them. This goes out to men in the world that are average men that are on PEDs, that are young, that are enjoying PEDs, that love it, because I did it too when I was young. And then transitioning on the spectrum over to men that are on TRT, that are probably not so young, but it's amazing that they are young. Certainly there's a risk, even on TRT from the FDA's perspective in 2015 for heart attack, stroke, and death. We're gonna go over all that data here today very succinctly for you guys, and more importantly, an action plan for you. So, and also just regular men. So steroid using TRT and regular men. So number one cause of death in our country, America, in the Western world is coronary artery disease for both men and women. And it's multifactorial. So I want you guys to directly assess this and control this. There is no reason why anyone ever has to have a heart attack. You can take care of this yourself. I'm here to do it and help you guys. The anabolic.app.com is there for you. You can get into meetings with me and ask me questions every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's been going for almost a year now. We have so many men. We talk about heart disease every time. Every night I'm on it, it's always heart disease other medical issues, even depression. Of course, there's testosterone and steroid talk. But it's something that you can do, guys. The future and the revolution of digital telemedicine is here. I'll be bringing that to you with another doctor that I'm training so you can be diagnosed and you can have medicines. You can get some of these medicines yourself that you'll need. But I don't want you guys to just directly do that. It's not one size fits all. You need to work with healthcare providers, and that's why I'm guiding you on this today. So with that said, it's such sad motivation and impetus for me to do this, but this is where I shine when we look at steroids and men and coronary artery disease. So let's go, guys. This is it. This is your action plan. You will do this yourself. You can do this now with digital technology. And I'm here for you and get on my app, anabolicdocapp.com, where all this information is in there just for you and then access to me. 
A, B, C, D, guys. A, B, C, D. Put the thinking caps on. Take the notes. I made it very big for you guys to look at. It's very early in the morning, so forgive me. I've been up excited all night to do this and just so saddened, but I wanted to put it together perfectly, so I visualized it, and here it is. And I've done this before. A, hemoglobin A1C, glucose, comprehensive metabolic panel, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, ALT, AST. Okay, what does it mean? The ABCs, hypertension, diabetes, and dyslipidemia, those are the big three chronic medical issues that lead to coronary artery disease. So when you check yourself, guys, even in your 20s, get into this, memorize this guy, A, B, C, D. So check a comprehensive metabolic panel or a basic metabolic panel. It's got glucose, obviously fasting glucose, and hemoglobin A1C. I throw the N a FLD in, and this the liver transaminases. Now, none of this is really particularly like on steroids, but when you put it on steroids, guys, this stuff can get worse. Probably not the glucose stuff, but everything below. So non-alcohol fatty liver disease is when you see just a healthy person apparently asymptomatically, and they have an, a significant elevation with the ALT up over the AST, and no one really knows what it is, any good doctor is going to know if your triglycerides are up and you're a little overweight and everything like this, you're going to say that's not alcohol fatty liver disease. This is a bear. This is really hurting a lot of people. It can actually end up worse later on with cirrhosis and inflammatory disease and it worsens the heart disease. So A, guys. B, blood pressure. Guys, everyone on the internet is talking about the other... Instagram and YouTube guys, I watch the videos about Sean and they talk about blood pressure. Okay, so I'm the doc. This is not medical advice, this is educational information. You guys, my blood pressure is less than 120, less than 80. I do need some medicines for that. You know, um, blood pressure, this is key. A, B, this is key, guys. If you keep these things perfect, really, I promise you, You'll have never heart disease. You can regress heart disease. And certainly, you'll significantly reduce your potential from dying from heart disease. No doctor, no expert is ever going to argue me on this. The problem in America is, look at this. This is a ton of stuff to do. You do it. It's your self-protection action plan, anabolicdocapp.com. Keep your blood pressures around 120, 80. I like them less than 120, less than 80. That's just me. What are the medicines, guys? I'm not giving discrete information. A, B, C, D again. ACE, A or B. B is for beta blocker. C, calcium channel blocker. D is for diuretic. Guys, whew, there's no one, there's no cookie cutter for this and just one medicine for all. You can't, and this is not anti-aging medicine. For an example, Sean, an African-American man, would do well on a calcium channel blocker and a diuretic. Guys, this is significant medical historical uh, information that we know about this based on clinical data. This is evidence-based medicine. You can't just cookie cut this. You have to really get, get a great blood pressure cuff. Really know your blood pressure. Of course, your diet and your exercise, your genetics, A, B, C, D, again, guys, for the medicines you'll have access to these medicines with a digital telemedicine coming soon. C, cholesterol. This is the big money. There's no question. They're all big money. Cholesterol. Get a lipid panel. Coronary artery calcium score. I talk about it all the time. Know your lipid panel, okay? Know what it is. Know the total, know the, the total cholesterol, the LDL, the HDL, the triglycerides. You're going to see they relate to this non-alcoholic fatty liver disease pre-diabetes. Half the country of America is pre-diabetic now. You guys got to learn about this. Calcium score. Guys, if Sean, if he might have just checked the calcium score early in his life, even in his late 30s or a few years ago, he, he might have, he would have seen, we would have seen uh, a significant atherosclerosis in his arteries and someone could have done something, maybe something could have been done. I want to be very humble about that because I don't want to be one of these guys saying that this and that and, you know, it's common, things are common, guys. I do this all the time. All I do is this. I check calcium scores on every man that comes in my practice 
yeah, most of them have been exposed to androgens, some a little bit, some a lot bit, family history, all these things. I look at the calcium score, guys, you should see the variability on this. It's not just so predictable. But when you see a calcium score, and it's, it's a moderate score, I love to see zero. Of course, when it's not zero, I say, hey, brother, good news and bad news. The good news is you're going to be fine because he has no symptoms right now. He's not short of breath. He has no ischemic heart disease. He has no symptoms. He's young. The bad news is you have heart disease starting. It's very common. Let's slow down and stop that train. Coronary artery calcium score. Guys, self-protection action plan. Do it yourself, man. Do it yourself. Easy to do. Easy. Stuff is cheap. Everything here is super cheap. You're going to have to tell your doctors. That's why I'm hiring a doctor. I'm, tra I'm training a doctor. I'm not hiring them. I'm training a doctor. He's going to have to do it, guys. You're going to do it with him or your own doctors. you got to get this lipid panel and the calcium score. You can see if you have atherosclerosis today. You can see it early before anything happens. Where there is smoke, there's going to be fire. All evidence-based medicine, D, I came up with this stuff. Guys, just last night, I added the D in my sleep. Dad, family history of coronary disease. So dad, dad, you can remember the ABCD. So dad, most men that I see that have bad plaque scores, otherwise they have a little cholesterol, the blood pressure is a little up, it's nothing big, everyone has this. The family history is the key. This is the key, it's so significant. So do you have family history? with a primary relative, your dad, usually, or the mom, for having early heart disease. That's in their 50s, guys, even 40s for the man. You'll see it with a bypass or a stent. And guys will say, you know, my dad smoked, he drank, he didn't take care of himself great like I do. So, but you know, th that's variable, guys. I know it's environmental, but don't hang your hat on that alone. If so, well, my dad was in bad shape and he had heart disease, he had a bypass at 45 or 50 or 60, you know, the American College of Cardiology says if it's your dad, if it's a dad like and he's over 60, it's not really a risk. But, you know, I disagree with that because the heart disease starts very young, even in the 20s. We know that. from We know that from, from real clinical data and, and tons of studies. So family history for heart disease. Next, the D for here, deposition disease. It's not just pseudo-gout. If you, if you Google deposition disease, you're going to see pseudo-gout, okay? But you're, I'm not talking about arthropathies and arthritis. It's deposition disease for me if you're on androgens. It's this, what I've discovered in the last couple of years, it's the CBC, it's the androgen-induced erythrocytosis, the red blood cells that go up, and the iron levels that go up. I have other videos coming soon about this, guys. This is absolutely phenomenal. This works and facilitates in the, the potential acceleration of the, the heart disease and the inflammatory disease, because when you have heart disease, it's an inflammatory disease. It's a vicious cycle, guys, and you have the vicious cycle of inflammatory disease, worsening the heart disease in a big, and then you have this myocardial infarction and unfortunately death and disability with heart failure and all these things. I left out LVH out of here. LVH fits under here with blood pressure. It's all covered in here, guys. So I really hope this helps you guys. A, B, C, D, I want it very clear. I'm here with the anabolicdocapp.com to help you guys. This is so painful that this, another young man with a child so young is passed on. It's just so sad for me. It doesn't have to happen. You're gonna use steroids, protect yourself. Don't use steroids, cut them down, Take get on TRT, all the above. This is not a blessing for steroids. I know they're going to use steroids. Well, it's like yelling at people and saying, don't do it. Don't people do it. So don't do it. <laughs> There's a reason why you don't want to do it. Steroids accelerate heart disease, guys. Come on. Not this guy. Not It depends on your genetics. It depends on the cholesterol, the lipid, the calcium score, the blood pressure. You can control all these things yourself. You can do this. I'm giving you the opportunity to do it. A1C glucose, A, B, C, D. I don't want to see any more deaths, guys. Take care of yourself. Do it yourself. The, the, go to a clinic and just tell them what to do. And if they say, no, I'm not doing it, don't go somewhere else. Thank you so much, guys. I really 
Hope this helps, and I want to see tons of comments. What do you think about this? Have you done this stuff? Do you are you considered? Are you concerned for your heart? Do you consider doing this? How better can we get this word out to people? Thank you so much.